It's time, it's time, it's time for some flesh and blood. Hello again, my fabulous friends, and welcome to another video on this fabulous channel, FAB for flesh and blood. That's how it all started out. Those of you who are here since the beginning know about that. And for those of you who are new, welcome again to our channel. Thank you very much for being a subscriber. We're having fun and being interactive here. And lots of things again to talk to you about. Holy smoke and beans. Sorry about that. I didn't realize I hadn't taken this out of the screenshot before we started. But while we're at it, why don't I take a few minutes? You've seen the cap now. And by the way, I'm having a, like women often say, bad hair day today. So that's my excuse for the cap. You will recognize the logo a little bit over here on shirts, uh, a little bit on the book everywhere. That is the concept of my trilogy. The first book came out in 2015, the second in 2018. And this year I was trying to complete the trilogy, but because of COVID, it might be in 2022 that you will see the book on the shelves. And by the way, speaking of shelves, this was the book in Canada that made it to bestseller in just two weeks and a half back in 2015. The French version is called Le Justiciaire Tom 1, uh, book one, basically, La Finale des Coupables. And guess what? I was able, over the past few years, to rewrite this book with the help of a good buddy of mine, and it is now in the English version called The Executrix. The hunt is on. And as you can see, maybe you can guess, actually, this book is about a woman serial killer that goes after people who got away with justice, who, that got off scot-free. It's a little bit like a female Dexter, for those of you who know that series. So she goes after those people and kills them in a very original manner. She has her own fantasies and by the way you might have guessed it by the logos she is a dominatrix for those of you who uh who you know have difficulty with hearing that word well the book is not for you what can i say but it was for a lot of people because just here we've had 30,000 copies sold just in quebec in a very small population so we're going worldwide we think this will be actually we've had people talk to us about it we think this will be a movie one day so imagine that quite a bit of fun and uh well while we're at it when it came out back in, back then, it was big news here, believe it or not. This is the main uh, Montreal newspaper called La Presse. And by the way, back then, that day on August, I forget the date exactly here, but on that day, there were three main pieces of, you know, important news in Montreal. And one of them was about a lawyer, that uh, fraudulent lawyer. And there was a fire in one of our tunnels here. And look at this. La justiciaire, l'homme d'affaires derrière le livre de thé means the the, uh, the businessman behind the book of the summer in Montreal. And it seems like that guy looks like me quite a bit. So for the first time in 20 years, this newspaper actually talked about a book front page. I mean, this was just incredible back then. I couldn't believe it. Here I am, just somebody who's uh, having fun with a new project, uh, writing a novel, a mystery uh, suspense novel. And it went bonkers, went to the moon. So I'm pretty fortunate for that. And uh, just in case you don't recognize this good-looking guy here, let me just bring it closer to you so you can see that. Oh, my goodness. In an actual shirt, not in a T-shirt. So there you go. I will probably be coming back to this book in the future. So many things to do. Uh, show you, actually. You will see the uh, Executrix tour bus sometime next summer on this channel. But uh, that's for another time. I know you're here for flesh and blood, so let's get to it. Okay, I'll admit, I'm not going to fool anybody. Um, it was a setup, yeah, but uh, by the way, for those of you uh, funny guys out there who think this uh, may be the picture of Josie, it is not, although she has exactly the same curves. I'm going to get in trouble for saying that. Anyway, um, <laughs> so back to flesh and blood. There is huge news. Oh, by the way, at the end of this video, you will know which one of you actually won the contest, those three um, packs of cards from uh, Arcane Rising, which one of you actually won. You'll see that, and we will uh, carry on with the next contest. We'll open another three packs, and you guys will be able to comment on this very video. Well, just give me your picks again. Everybody gets three picks every time, and we make sure we have a winner every video we have from now to the launch of Monarch. Speaking of Monarch, this is the big news that I have for you today. This channel, this favorite channel of yours, well, actually, maybe not, but maybe your favorite Canadian channel, or maybe your favorite Montreal channel. I don't know, but anyway, this channel is part now of the is a partner in the preview program of legend story studios for the launch of monarch so yes exclusivity you'll be seeing things here well actually i have to be careful sasha the business development manager told me mark don't tell too much just say that 
you're getting a promo card also. And my goodness, sorry, I can't say anymore. That's all part of the deal. Legend Store Studios are very, very, uh, you know, um, professional, I should say, about this. And you guys are getting into right now preview weeks beginning on April 12th. And you will see what that is all about by following all of your favorite YouTube creators while you're, you know, flesh and blood uh, creators out there. And uh, of which this one is one also because we concentrate quite a bit on flesh and blood. And we are very happy and honored to be one of the program uh, partners for the launch of the new product coming up. All right. So uh, speaking of Sasha, such an amazing guy, business production, uh, business development manager. Um, I had a conversation with him on Friday and, you know, I was saying, of course, you know, I try to do my best to promote you guys. You guys are so good. And he was telling me and I was saying, you know, I know I'm just a minnow. First thing he told me, he says, Mark, you're not a minnow for us. You're, you're, you know, very important to us. So I'm not a 300,000 uh, subscriber channel. I'm not a $600,000 channel like we've uh, been getting now uh, coming on board with the professor on uh, Tolarian Community College. But um, for them, you know, everybody that does his part to promote is, is important. And I was thinking about this a little later on. I was saying, yeah, the minnow, I like that because, you know, I start small. You know, this channel started from nothing, promoting and its uh, sole purpose. Well, at the beginning, it was for uh, to promote flesh and blood. Obviously, you can see that I collect magic. Also, we do do magic products on this channel also. But, you know, if it weren't for flesh and blood, this channel wouldn't exist. So I'm saying, okay, yeah, I'm a minnow, but I am going to grow alongside flesh and blood. How poetic is that? All right. So that's my view now. And uh, oh, by the way, before I forget, I did uh, ask you guys to uh, tell me about coming uh, pre-release weekend activities going on so a couple of you have actually told me so if you're from San Antonio region in Texas there is a place called um, Night's Watch Games which will be holding pre-release weekend so if you're in that area or if you're in BC British Columbia in Canada it's called Infinity Games and Collectibles they are also holding a pre-release event on the weekend of April 30th to May 2nd and for those of you that are local here in Quebec Montreal area on Tuesday's video, well, my very next one, I don't know if it'll be Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, my very next video, I'm getting confirmation, uh, you know, within the next hours, I will, will be telling you exactly where you can play this game. Should be 48 of you uh, able to uh, register for this. It will be held on Discord Montreal. And as I mentioned the other day, the cost is $45 to register. And um, you get six packs of uh, Monarch First Edition along with two cold foils. How cool is that? I mean... Talk about getting your money's worth, right? So before we move on to the very last part of the video, those three packs, new packs being opened and a winner amongst you for the packs that were opened on the last video. Before we get to that, just a couple of points I want to go over. The first of which is the uh, announcement, official announcement, I should say, by Legend Story Studios this week that there will be a Crucible of War Unlimited. Now, we called that on this channel about a month and a half ago. It was in the works. It was brewing and it was very probable. Um, but we were thinking mid-June. But now with the uh, slight delays in Monarch, they are saying middle of the year, probably July, maybe even August, but we will see. What's important is that now we're getting Crucible of War Unlimited, satisfying now all those players out there that wanted those cards to put in their decks and which were getting quite expensive for non-investors or non-collectors, people that just want to play the game out there. So uh, that is a really good news. Um, but what I'm getting at is the financial aspect because people are saying, what will that do to the prices now of my uh, original set? Of uh, Well, basically, I don't think it will do much. Maybe just a little bit with some cards because, you know, in Crucible of War, for example, Twinning Blade is not a cold foil. It is a rainbow foil. And, um, you know, depending on what Legend Store Studios does with that in the upcoming set Unlimited, if it remains the same or if it's different, uh, that may alter prices. But overall, not much will happen and prices will keep going up for Crucible First Edition. And uh, I'm seeing those boxes uh, very close to $2,000 in the very near future, even though they've just announced that. I mean, as we say, the proof is in the pudding. Let's have a look at Welcome to Wraith Alpha. What happened? Well, the boxes are 6,000 and Unlimited are 100. The uh, Arcane Rising boxes, first edition, are 4,000 and Unlimited is 100. Hasn't changed much, right? And actually, um, Arcane Rising shot up in the last uh, few weeks because there was the announcement that the print runs were much lower than we thought. So pretty much the same story with uh, Crucible of War. Everybody's seeing, uh, getting what they're looking for here. Players, investors, collectors alike. So that is good news overall. So great, great move, uh, Legend Store Studios. 
They're making so many great moves. Anyway, uh, and the other thing I wanted to talk about a little bit is uh, people asking, I've seen this now with, uh, you know, flesh and blood getting so popular and all the hype around it. People are saying, yeah, it looks, you know, it's fun and all this and all that, but in terms of investing or this and that, should I, why would I do so in a game that's only a year and a half old, 18 months old? Um, well, to me, Actually, I think I'm going to get that in another video because I have too much to say about that and this will run too long. But just basically, to me, it is not because a product that is new that it is no good. I mean, on the contrary, I mean, you just have to have to judge a product by its merits. And the product that Legend Story Studios has just created for us, Flesh and Blood, has a ton of merits. So, you know, that's the basic of what I think, but I'll get back. All right, so, um, you know, things are happening, and uh, believe you me, things will be getting even bigger in the near, very near future. Now, let's get under that lamp. All right, so for full disclosure purposes, these are part of the cards that were in those three packs the other day. So you see them all there. If you guys want to have uh, fun trying to uh, count yourself what the total was, here are the other cards that were in this pack, just to make sure you know which ones. And by the way, for the winner... The last ones, those that are rare and uh, foil, have been uh, sleeved for the winner. And by the way, these three that are double-sided did not count. I mentioned that before. And here you are with the, uh, these are already sleeved. These were the cards that I did show you when we opened those three packs. So if you start having fun and start counting all those numbers around the card, the pitch value, the resource value, the defense, and the attack value of all the cards put together, the final answer is 301. So I counted this independently from Josie. And first shot, we both got to the exact same number. So I guess that is correct. All right. So who wins? Well, let's turn over the card. Charles Hyman. His three picks were 180, 225, or 300. By the way, none of you got 301 right on the nose. Actually, so what I did with no correct answers is that I gave everybody access to their three picks and to see who would be closest and 300. There was a 299 actually, but 300 is closer. So the winner is Charles Hyman. We are doing exactly the same thing now for three more packs. So let me bring in here for today's three packs. One, two, three picking out of our box that we opened the other day. So let me put this away here and uh, just kindly just push these over without with being careful so that we don't damage any cards. And we're back to a new contest. So here we are. You guys will be doing the same thing, guessing on the value, total value of all the cards. These 45 and the other three are not count, counted, actually double sided cards. So, OK, so I, once again, I can't show you the first ones, right? You have to not know what they are. We do look at the rares, though. So take aim is the first rare. Let's see if we get some cool cards here. Aether Spindle, another rare. And how about a foil? Okay, come to fight. So that is the first pack. And uh, again, the nine other cards we're not having a look at for now. You need to make your guess. It's the same game. We're getting through a whole box of uh, Arcane Rising in this manner. And by the way, Charles, you are getting... Oh, showing too many cards here. Well, you won't see them all anyway. So stir the Aether Winds. Can we pull a big one here? Rapid Fire. Okay, a first super rare now. How about a cool foil? Do we have that? Oh, stir the Aether Winds again. All right, so that's pitch two. We got one here, pitch three. So those are the three rare plus cards in this pack. We do get one super rare. A little better trio here than the way that we got in the first set. There were no supers or majestics. So let's move on to the last pack. Let me uh, just make sure I don't uh, get this uh, incorrect. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So silver the tip is the first rare. Pursuit of knowledge. Okay. So we've got two super rares in this pack. And the foil is Scalding Rain. Is that uh, correct? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So there you go. So two super rares that you guys are playing for in this uh, in this contest. Give me your picks. Again, you do have three picks you're allowed. 
Uh, anywhere between 150 and I suppose 400. We've seen that the first set was 301. Good luck to you all. Make your comments on this very video. And uh, it will be until um, I'll put up when the contest ends. It depends when I put on my next video. But normally you have a full 24 hours and then till 11 p.m. Eastern time on the following day. But I will let you know. Thank you very much all for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen on this channel. Thank you very much out there, all of you subscribers. We appreciate you guys. And take care and stay safe out there. Bye-bye for now.